My first mow with the Earthwise 7 blade manual reel mower is in the books. And my first impression review is coming up. So don't go anywhere. Here we are again, folks. Thanks for joining me for another round of Budget Lawns. I sure appreciate you. If you're subscribed already, thank you. If you're not, please consider doing so. Hit that thumbs up button, notification bell. Leave me a comment. All those things that are so important to YouTube creators to let us know if you enjoy what we're doing and also to let us know how we can improve if you see areas that we're lacking in. Today, we're going to get right to the point. Uh, I finally got to use my manual reel mower. I bought it uh, somewhere around a month and a half or so ago, and it's just been sitting here in the garage. It just The Bermuda just hadn't woken up enough yet to really be able to mow it with the reel mower, so I've been rotary mowing up until now, and did I even really need to mow the other day when I used this? No. Um, the, the grass has just really, really slowed down here lately. We've had temperatures in the 40s at night, highs only getting up into the 50s. So the Bermuda's really not doing a whole lot, but we had a lot of rain in the forecast. So I thought, you know, I better get one last little snip in right before we get this long stretch of rain. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get the real mower out and give it its first go around. And well, I, I say first go around, the day before when I set the height of cut on it to one inch, I may or may not have taken it for a few passes up and down the side yard. I'll let you uh, decipher that. I did, I did. I couldn't resist, but I waited until the next day to get my full mow in. And that's when I did the entire yard. And like I said, I had it set at one inch. So there really wasn't a whole lot coming off at all. Uh, my rotary mower was set to around an inch and a quarter, so after three days of very little growth, it was just barely taking the tips off, but that's fine, because we know the more you mow and just taking a little bit off is better for the grass, it's healthy, it makes it healthier, has all these advantages, so anytime I get a chance to do that and get a quick mow in, I will do it. But the intention of this mow wasn't necessarily because it needed it, it was to get my feet wet on the real mower for the first time. I know a lot of you have been wondering, you know, what I think about it, because in my previous video, I'll leave a link for it down below, I really only broke down why I picked this particular model. This is the Earthwise 7 blade, 16 inch unit. Um, if you wanna see what was my deciding factors and what came into play, for picking this one. Again, watch that video on the link below and that'll tell you everything you need to know. What I'm gonna try and do here with this unit is kind of make this, uh, not a series, but a, a few part review. You already got why I, why I bought this one. This one's gonna be my first impressions. And my third one will be after things have really come in full and the lawn's you know, where I want it for the year and I'm in full blown real mowing mode. I'll give you an updated version of this review. But for now, my first impressions were good, uh, to say the least. It's tough to read reviews for a lot of stuff online because I read reviews on this thing just like any other real mower. It's like, if you don't have a perfect line, if it's not perfectly smooth, it's not worth it. I, you know, you, you can read a lot of bad stuff in reviews. And I found a lot of the stuff I read to just totally not be true. So take a lot of those things with a grain of salt. And if you have a bumpy lawn and you've been on the fence as whether or not you want to invest in an inexpensive manual reel mower like this one, don't sweat it. It worked just fine on my lawn and it is far from perfect. Um, did not see much in the way that would indicate I'm going to see, you know, any negative sides to having a bumpy lawn. But there's still a lot left yet to be seen because again, it was just my first go at it uh, yesterday. But if you're thinking about getting a real mower and you don't have a perfect lawn, don't let that stand in your way from getting one because I'm in the same shoes you're in. 
I did see, however, some drawbacks when it came to the tight spaces. Um, the key to these things is really getting some momentum going and getting that reel spinning as fast as possible. It was tough to get in some of my tight spaces around the house, air conditioner vent and areas like that. So that may just mean that I have to switch up my order that we talked about a couple weeks ago. You know, do you mow, edge, blow, or edge, mow, blow, whatever. I usually edge first. I may have to go to a mow first so that I can um, see the spots that I miss by not being able to get it into the tight spaces. But that's not a big deal. Everywhere else, I found it relatively easy to use. Um, I was able to get that reel spinning real fast. So the quality of cut was really, really nice. It was really, really fresh. Super excited about that. And just the fact that I was able to take it lower than I can with my rotary mower, that's the big plus. You know, I, not, I, as you've been able to see that, I, I can get a nice cut on my Bermuda lawn with a rotary mower. I just couldn't go much lower than an inch and a quarter. And I wanted to go a little bit lower than that. So right now I've got it set at an inch and then I'll be able to take it down to three quarters of an inch and eventually down to half an inch if I decide to get that low and I might not. Um, but I've got it set in a way that I can utilize those height of cuts, um, change that the day before I used it. And really, um, it was a little cumbersome changing the height of cut on it. It wasn't difficult by any means. I think there could be easier ways to do it. I've seen other manual reel mowers that have an easier way of adjusting the height of cut, but I didn't find it um, difficult that would persuade me not to get this one or not recommend it to someone else. So that's nice. Being able to put it down at an inch and not scalp the lawn like I do with my rotary mower, because after mowing my lawn so many times with the rotary mower, I kind of know where the tricky spots are. And there was one in particular that in the past I would always see a big, you know, circle scalp mark from the rotary mower. This time, it was a little funky going over it, kind of threw me off, but no scalp marks. And I mean, that right there makes it worth it. Just I mean, for 107 bucks, I think with the bag and the sharpening kit, it was only like 160. So if you're seeing a lot of folks out there getting a super expensive, nice, fancy power reel mowers and you're telling yourself, oh man, I can't afford one of those. I, it's okay, this is budget lawns, I'm here to show you how you can still do a lot of things in lawn care without breaking the bank. And if you're looking for a manual reel mower, my first impressions of this one, I would go with it. I mean, the seven blades over the five, if you can get it going real fast like I could, that's what I really focused on. You're gonna see a really good cut. And then as we get more grown in and come completely out of dormancy, I'm hoping we'll be able to tell if we have that washboarding effect. Um, I'm going to say right now, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but we will see. Um, the only other kind of word of advice or word of caution I might give you is that you do need to have a clean lawn when you're using one of these. Um, I, I keep my lawn clean of debris all the time, um, but I do from time to time get little pieces of mulch from my flower bed in the lawn from when I'm edging or weed eating or whatever it may be. And there was one time I was going forward and it just completely locked up and I was like, what in the world is going on? I, the, the smallest piece of bark completely locked that reel up. But those things are to be expected. So you just kind of got to roll with the punches on those. It's really, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I would planned on doing this first impression review kind of, um, you know, in the action. And then as I got going, Golly, I knew from hearing from other people that it was a workout. Uh, and it, maybe it was just me because I, I was really focusing on my technique and really, really using some speed to get that reel, you know, moving as fast as possible. And I was, I was kind of winded. I, that, that could be just because I'm completely out of shape, not because it's that hard to use the, the reel mower. I think it's more that I'm out of shape. And I was getting pretty winded, so I thought I'm not even going to try to talk on camera right now. I was sweating like crazy and I couldn't breathe. So I held off until today so I could give you a better conversation about what I thought about this thing. Um, and, I, and, I, and I noticed too that, you know, depending on how you stood, whether you stood more kind of over or back or whatever, 
it, there are ways you can kind of manipulate how that reel goes across the line. Um, you know, as far as keeping it from bouncing less and staying more down and giving some more weight to it. I really don't know how to explain that, but it seemed like if I kind of leaned forward and kind of focused on pushing down, it, it just added some more weight to the reel and it, it was less likely. Not saying that it bounced, but it was, it's actually very, very, very sturdy and has a good weight to it. So it wasn't that much of an issue, but still I wanted to see, you know, test a few things out to see what technique worked best and what technique didn't work quite as good. Uh, but nonetheless, first impressions of this, this little uh, piece of equipment, uh, I, mean, I don't know what else to say. It was my first ever real mo, so it, that could be just the exciting part in itself. But I, I can tell moving forward that I'm going to get a much cleaner, a much prettier, uh, just a better cut overall out of this than I will with my rotary mower. Um, and, and another thing I like as well, I'll hear people say all the time, well, I don't like a real mower that's got wheels on it because I don't like the wheel marks. You know, two wheels as opposed to four on a rotary mower that's a lot heavier and leaves even bigger wheel marks than this real mower wheel marks than this real mower will that's confusing um i didn't notice much in the way of of really seeing tire marks in the grass but we're gonna have to let it grow back in a lot more and to, to really see how it's going to respond in that respect um, to make sure that i wasn't leaving any strips uncut because it is it's not very wide it's only about 16 inches it might take me a little bit longer to make more passes, but I found it was easier just to, to, to run, a, run a pass down and then line the outer edge of that pass up in the center of the reel to make sure I was really overlapping nicely. And I find that that's probably going to give the best cut possible anyways, aside from double cutting, which I double cut with my rotary mower. So... This will almost be equivalent to that, but not quite as much. So I'm okay with it taking a little bit longer, but I found that just kind of dissecting the pass before it was the best route to not leave any uncut strips and make sure I was overlapping properly. But, you know, I mean, A+. plus, A+, plus if you're in the market for a real mower. A manual one, I know there's a lot of them out there, but this Earthwise 16-inch 7-blade, uh, if I were putting any money down on one, this would be where I would start, mainly because of the seven blades, and I think you'll want those extra two blades over what most of these have in five blades, um, just for the ease of cut, the quality of cut, and just about anything else you could imagine. Seven blades is better than five. But that's all I've got on this one again. Um, make sure you check out the video before this one and stay tuned for some ver further reviews on this i'll keep adding to it maybe one more time just so you can get a better uh, idea of how this unit operates and make a decision on which one you want to buy and coming up in uh, another video i'm also going to just break down should you even be rotary mowing or real mowing which one is best suited for you we'll kind of break apart those differences real versus rotary coming up here on budget lawns very very soon but until then i appreciate you watching we'll see you in the next one take care <laughs>